Have you ever wondered why the moon is getting further away from us? Get ready to discover the missing side of one of the most significant celestial phenomena in our sky. The moon's great escape. Well, buckle up because this video may surprise you and make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the missing side, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell as well. Is our moon really moving away from us? Well, the answer is yes. The moon, our constant companion in the night sky, is actually moving away from the Earth. The distance between the Earth and the moon is slowly increasing over time. But why is this happening? It's all due to the gravitational interaction between the Earth and the moon. Scientists have been observing and studying this phenomenon for many years, which is considered a natural process that occurs over time. Although, the exact rate of the moon's recession is still a topic of scientific research, but one thing is for sure, the moon remains a vital part of our lives. It will continue to play a crucial role in shaping our planet's environment and how we experience the night sky. How does the science behind the moon's distance from Earth work? The Earth and the moon are massive bodies, and they interact through the force of gravity. The Earth's gravity pulls on the moon, causing it to orbit around us, while the moon's gravity slows down the Earth's rotation. This dynamic process, called tidal acceleration, causes the moon to move away from the Earth. But it's not just about the moon moving away from us. It's about the gradual increase in the distance between the two. Can you imagine how far the moon has traveled from the Earth over millions of years? It's mind-blowing to think about. But the truth is, this dance between the two celestial bodies is just a testament to the laws of physics and how they govern our universe. So, next time you look up at the moon, Remember this incredible story of celestial attraction and the laws of physics that make it all possible. How is the moon's distance affecting our lives? You might be surprised to find out just how much. The moon's distance from the Earth affects everything from our tides to our sleeping patterns. Think about it, the moon is responsible for the rise and fall of the tides, and as it moves further away, the tides become less intense. This means that our coastlines are slowly but surely changing, and the balance of the ocean is being disrupted. But that's not all. The moon's distance from the Earth also affects our sleeping patterns. The moon's gravitational pull affects the water in our bodies, which can lead to feelings of restlessness and trouble sleeping. This is why many people find falling asleep during a full moon harder. It's incredible to think that the moon, this distant celestial body, can profoundly impact our lives. Have we been measuring the moon's distance historically accurately? It's a vital measurement to keep track of, considering its effect on our daily lives. But have we been measuring it accurately? That's the question on everyone's minds. Well, the answer is, it's a bit complicated. Historically, we've used various methods to measure the moon's distance, including triangulation and laser ranging. However, each of these methods has its limitations and often produces slightly different results. As technology has advanced, we've been able to refine our methods and get more accurate measurements. For example, with satellites and modern-day instruments, we can now measure the moon's distance with incredible precision. So, have we been measuring the moon's distance accurately all these years? The answer is, it's a work in progress. But with each passing year and new technological breakthrough, we're getting closer and closer to a more accurate understanding of this celestial mystery. What is the future of the moon's relationship with Earth? The moon and Earth have been in a delicate dance for billions of years, with the moon gradually moving away from our planet. But what does the future hold for this celestial relationship? It's a question that scientists and astronomers have been pondering for years, and the answer is a bit complicated. 
Currently, the moon is moving away from the Earth at a rate of about 3.8 centimeters per year. This may not seem like much, but over billions of years, it adds up. So, what does this mean for the future of the moon's relationship with Earth? Well, some scientists predict that eventually, the moon will become so far away that it will no longer significantly affect our tides and sleeping patterns. Others believe that eventually, the moon will become a distant memory, becoming a lost moon as it continues to drift further and further away from our planet. Only time will tell what the future holds for the moon and Earth, but one thing is sure, this celestial relationship will continue to evolve and change in fascinating ways. So keep your eyes on the skies and stay tuned for the next chapter in this celestial story. Is there any way to stop the moons receding from Earth? As the moon pulls away from the Earth, it's only natural to wonder if there's anything we can do to stop it. But the truth is, this celestial dance has been going on for billions of years, and there's no known way to put the brakes on it. But here's the exciting part. Experts and scientists are working hard to understand this mysterious phenomenon and the forces that drive it. They're seeking new and innovative ways to study the moon's movements and predict where it's going. So, while we may not be able to change the moon's path, we're on a quest to uncover the secrets of this fantastic celestial body and the forces that shape it. After all, the moon has been a part of human history and culture for centuries, and it's time we learned even more about it. Don't you agree? And there you have it, folks. From the moon's recession to the science behind it and its impact on our lives, we've covered it all in this video. We hope you found it as fascinating as we did. As the moon moves away from Earth, it's a natural process that has been happening for billions of years. But with science and innovation, we'll continue to learn more. Share your thoughts about this topic in the comments section below. Until next time, stay safe and keep exploring the missing side of the universe.